The mission of the California Community College system began in 1907 with offering students the first two years of a college education. By the 70s, the promise included opening the doors to anyone over the age of 18. By the 90s, Corporate California, the main beneficiary of a community college student's education, was promised future workers. By the year 2000, the system was the largest higher education system on the planet, with over 2 million students and 54,000 teachers, the vast majority hired as part-timers. You have the faculty and the staff who are just champions for the students. They recognize that they need role models, and that's the role that many of the faculty and staff perform here. Role models, advocates, coach, mothers, fathers, everything they can be to help the students get through. I think we, as a drastically underfunded system, have too many part-time instructors in our system. That's one way we can accommodate more students, because we have a source of labor that is, has been traditionally less expensive. Well, explain that to my bank and let them volunteer to pay for my house. And explain that to Kaiser and they can volunteer to pay my health insurance. But they won't do that. You work, you should get paid. I don't know anywhere in private industry where you have this large a group of people um, who are at the top of their field in terms of professional qualifications who are being paid a third of what the full-time workers get paid for the same job. I uh, just couldn't make it so I had to de declare bankruptcy in 92 and I just got through that. We either have to strike, have sick outs, or get students to cause trouble. Picketing still proves one of the best ways to get heard. Instructors have also turned to less vocal methods. California Part-Time Faculty Association, CPFA, encourages letter writing to politicians and lobbying in Sacramento. We decided to go the legislative route because we sat down and studied the education code and began to see and understand how it is this uh, web of regulations which establishes the employment practices for the community colleges and enables and allows the districts to maintain the two-tiered system that they have of full-time regular tenured faculty on the one hand and temporary part-time faculty on the other. The, the origins of, I guess, the, if you would say, the exploitation of part-time faculty actually goes back to, to 1967 and there was legislation that was passed. And I that legislation allows colleges to hire, if needed, temporary teachers at a 60 percent or smalling teaching load. But for many teachers, temporary has come to mean 12 or more years. As a visual symbol of their cause, instructors have also created this impoverished freeway flyer, a costume worn by many different instructors up and down the state. Part-time teacher. We work for Birdseed. Give me a break. The costume was inspired by the drawings of instructor and cartoonist John Kloss. French instructor David Milroy explains the scholar dollar to the chief deputy in charge of Governor Gray Davis's San Diego office. Action 2000, and they represent 37 cents. And 37 cents is approximately what each part-timer earns for every dollar a full-time faculty member earns. John Kloss's cartoons have given the emerging movement an arsenal of satiric images. This Frankenstein, for example. Real freeway flyer cars have also gotten into the picture. During a legislative debate in 1999 on the exploitation of teachers, math instructor Scott Douglas drove his well-traveled office, that is, his car, onto the grounds of the state capitol. But it wasn't until April of 2000 that faculty and their supporters at 94 of the state's campuses came together for the first time by holding a grassroots awareness campaign called 
Part-Time Faculty Equity Week. We're all coming together on this one issue, and that's going to be powerful in and of itself. Um, what is the one issue? The issue is pay equity, equal pay for equal work. We focused on one single issue to make it simple, and so that no matter what anybody else, no matter what happened on different campuses that was different, the single focus would be the same. During Equity Week, the costumed freeway flyer was finally picked up by the major media with this photo by the LA Times. Equity Week also set in motion a petition drive demanding equal pay for equal work, with the final goal to deliver the petitions to the governor's office. So I was wanting to talk to you because yeah. uh, you mentioned before that you had a group. Yeah. Uh, and we may be needing that group. Oh, you mean the theater group? Yes, the theater Great. group. Great. Ken Mason's union at Santa Monica College found our troupe a bit too outspoken for its needs at the time, but we did get an invitation to perform on the steps of the state capitol on the day the petitions were to be delivered. We rehearsed on weekends wherever we could find space. Ready or not, we loaded our costumes and cameras. So I'm off to uh, pick up Kabuki, the singer. Yeah. <laughs> it's me. It's hey. time to go. We have three, four sets of steps. Hey, who wants to be the podium? Someone be the podium. We need a okay, podium. Who's qualified? I'll be the podium. <laughs> <laughs> Greetings, fellow thespians. Over the years, our public schools and colleges have continued to build on an over-reliance of part-time faculty and classified positions, yes. leaving us with a fractured workforce, one that cannot adequately meet the growing demands of our students, parents, and community, let alone the demands of our families that we as workers provide for. I have health benefits if I even get equal pay. Even if I get paid office hours, it's not going to make a damn if I don't have a job. Because the majority of faculty are hired from semester to semester, a top priority is rehire rights. That is, to get short-term contracts for steady employment. And I'd like to hear you say it. Seniority priority! Seniority priority! Today is one of my busy days. I will go to five distinct locations to hold classes. I'll put more than 160 miles on my car today, but you already know all that. We hit the stage with our theme song, I've Taught Everywhere. I've taught everywhere, I've taught Equal work. Equal work. Hey. Ah. Equal pay. Get on. Work for food and that's oh. the bottom line. 